this. No. And then a whole stop. Oh. No, no, there's, this is a half. Ah, uh, right. Right? Right. Whole step. Careful. This one? Yeah. Whole step. No. No. Yeah. And you go a whole step up from this note. Really? Hello, and welcome to our newest series, Being Music, with Andrew Ray and sometimes Jeff. <laughs> me. Jeff's teaching us music. That's what I'm saying. Uh, I'm very excited for this because I've done a little bit of piano in the past, done a little bit of guitar, done some singing, but never gotten many lessons or really lessons that I cared about. So I'm incredibly excited uh, because I have very little history at all playing an instrument. And so I was expressing to my daughter earlier today that she can identify what a C sounds like, for example. I haven't got a clue. I understand that it's a thing, and I understand that there are tones, and I understand that there's like A, B, C, D, E, so on and so forth. I get that. I do. But I could not pick that tone out of a range of tones. And because of that, I'm going into this world that, frankly, I have no grounding in whatsoever. And it's always been very intimidating to me because of that. And so I am just pumped because... Jeff is awesome. Like he's he's such a great teacher to begin with, but he's also really easy to hang out with and ask questions with. And he's not trying to get you to a certain end result. It's almost like he just enjoys the journey with you. All right. So that that was great. So this series is going to be amazing. We're going to have private sessions where we're only, you know, practicing, doing our own thing. But these sessions where we're actually learning from Jeff, invaluable. Oh yeah. And I can't can't say enough about Jeff. Jeff is a fucking man. And the, the perfect type of teacher, too, because, again, he's not trying to get you to any spot, just making sure that you have a full grasp on whatever you're getting uh, with the foundation and whatnot. And, yeah, so I'm super excited for this series, see where it goes. And like with everything we're doing, we're just going to we're just going to enjoy it and see where it takes us. That's it. Enjoy the episode. This is, again, something I've always wanted to learn. Cool. Okay. All right. Okay, well, we're going to start with our minds. Okay. So, so there is a, there is a um, kind of like a baseline level of, of knowledge that you need to build before you start, you know? And it helps with, uh, with you, you know, the communication between me and, and you guys. And maybe you already know this, and if you do, that's, that's fine. But if you don't, you will now. So our, the music that we listen to, it's based on the 12-tone system of music, what they call 12 tones. You know, if you look at a piano and you do a complete octave going through all the notes, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and then the pattern starts over again. So this is our 12-tone system of music. Yeah, which is kind of cool, you know. So and, and knowing that, there are if you can count to seven. Remember, like I said before, yeah, yeah. you can count to seven. You can, if you can play a scale, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then it starts over again. It's a major scale. And then if you, and if you can remember simple mathematical formulas, you know, first note, third note, fifth note, a major, a major chord, a minor chord, a major seven, uh, uh, diminished chords. Like there's all kinds of different chords that you can play if you can just understand yeah. play a scale yeah. memorize the little mathematical formula mm -hmm. put your fingers there <laughs> i'm just a fairly simplistic way of looking at it but I like it. that's really all it is yeah so do you want to learn something yeah oh, hell yeah, yeah. I, I think i just finished the diminished you mentioned is that like something in between the minor and yeah minor? it is yeah no, yeah I've that's right so uh major so uh, there's a major uh, uh, diminished minor seven and uh, dominant seven. Oh, okay. So here's what we need to know. We're okay. gonna start on the piano. We need to know where middle C is. Middle C. So the tonic. Maybe I should I should back up a little bit. The musical alphabet starts at A. Yeah. Goes to G. Yeah. Starts over again at A. And there are these black notes in between sharps and flats, and we'll get to those. Okay, but the first note that you need to know is middle C. It's you see the pattern of two note black notes and three black notes. Yeah. Look at the first two. The note that's just before that first black note is called C. Oh. And in the middle of the piano, 
there's a C, not the middle C. Ah, that's where that's where we start. Yeah. So play a middle C on this piano here. Mm, loud, eh? Hmm. Oh, I gotta turn it down here. <laughs> no. <laughs> that volume. Yeah, go ahead. There you go. There's a middle C. Okay. As opposed to. That's a C as well. It's one octave higher. An octave because it's eight steps octave. Yeah. Uh -huh. So one octave higher is a C, but this is middle C. You yeah. see middle of the piano. Yeah, it does, and it does have that middle of the road sort of feel, like the, yeah, the between, higher one. Between Obviously, the, the relative. Between but, the lowest C. Yeah. The lowest C down here. This one, yeah. All right. And the highest C, which is right at the very end there. You know, that's. Yeah. So it is middle of the road. Yeah. It's a huge range. Yeah. And I feel, yeah, even from just like my own sort of sense of sound, it's like obviously that one's yeah. feels middle of the road, yeah, but yeah. like it does as a sound. Yeah, yeah. You know? Yeah, for sure. Like the two on either side definitely have more of like a much higher and much lower. Yeah, that's sound. right. That's right. And and so when we're when we're when we're listening to a note, we're thinking about its pitch. Mm -hmm. Its pitch, right? And so as you go to the right hand side of the piano, the pitch goes up. And as you go to the left, the pitch goes down. Mm -hmm. So starting at middle C here, uh, we're going to follow uh, the alphabet starting at C, only playing white notes. So we have C, D, E. And I like to remember where E is by looking at the two black notes and using mm -hmm. the second one as a, as a visual reference, yeah, right? Yeah. And then F, G, A, B, C. That's a scale, we call it a major scale. It's a C major scale. And there's a pattern to this to this scale that, that you'll learn. And now and after I give you the pattern, you'll be able to play any major scale sure. on any note. Sounds good to me. Okay, so here's how here's what we the first thing we need to remember is that when we play one note and we go to the very next note, we call it a half step. We measure that as a half step. And if we go up two half steps we have a whole step, okay? So, so you skip a, one note to get to go to a whole step, okay? So here's the pattern you have to remember: whole step, whole step, half step, whole step, whole step, whole step, whole step half step. So you have two whole steps, yep. and a half step, and a half step, three and then three, three whole step. and a half. Okay, so here it's as simple as this. Oh, it's because there's no middle black. The black keys, the black keys. You can think of the black keys as other white keys. I mean, they have a, they're a note, they're, mm -hmm. they're real notes. So if I start on F, mm -hmm. I could go whole step, whole step, half step, whole step, whole step, whole step, half step. And that's an F, we call it an F major scale, because that's yeah. where we started. Huh. Pretty cool, eh? That is yeah. cool. Yeah, and then you, then you number the notes and, and we get to be on our way to making chords really yeah. quickly. Oh, cool. Wait, you, said that, you said that started on an F? This one started on an F. Oh, right there, okay. Yeah, yeah, right here. Uh, so let's talk about the black notes for, for a moment. The black notes have two names. They, they can be referred to as sharps or flats. And it depends on, on the key that you're in. So the major scale that you've played defines whether it's a, a sharp or a flat. So, uh, so starting on F, if I go up a half step, mm -hmm. I get F sharp. And if I go to G and up a half step, I get G sharp, and so on and so on. C, C sharp, D, D sharp. And there is okay. no B sharp. And there is no B sharp, and there is no E sharp. Okay. For the purposes of what we're doing. Mm -hmm. Okay. And uh, and we can also refer to them as flat. So if I start on B here, I go down. It's B flat. Mm -hmm. A, A flat, G, G flat. Oh. There's no F flat. Right. E, E flat, D, E flat. And there's no C flat. And there's no C flat. So when uh, when labeling them, is there a priority? Like a G flat versus whatever's on the other side? Yeah, is there, yeah it, it really G depends on the, on, the key, on the key, what we call the key signature. So. Yeah, like her, yeah, F sharp versus G flat. That's the same key, It's right? the same one, yeah. So which, which would it refer to? So if you were in the key of G or D or A or uh -huh. E, uh, or B, it would be G sharp. Okay. But if you're in the key of E flat or A flat or like some of these what we call flat keys, then mm -hmm. it's referred to as a flat. 
It okay. seems a little bit complicated, but the there is there is a there is a good reason behind it. Okay. Yeah. Let's play our first scales. Okay. Scale it. Okay. Oh, yeah. Okay. We'll start on. Um, well, we'll do it one at a time. How you go first, Andrew? All right. Just pick a key, any key. Doesn't matter what it is, because all you need to know is the pattern. Right. And you've got the major scale, so. All right. What is this? D. That's D. We're gonna okay. do a D major scale. D major scale. Okay, so what you so, need to do is start with D. Yeah, and then it's the. And then you go up a whole step. So it's no. Then a whole step. Whole. No, no. There's, this is a half. Oh, uh, right. 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 So. Whole. Whole. Half. Whole step. Whole step. Whole step. Whole step. Whole step. Yep, and half step. There you go. All right. You just played a D major D scale. D major scale. Started on D, ended on D. Huh. Beautiful. So anywhere, it's the whole, whole half. Whole, yeah, it doesn't whole matter half. where you start. Whole half. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, and you're jumping, because then you're jumping from yeah, yeah the blacks to the whites. Right. You and have that to... one, I missed that one at first, because I was like, oh, it's a whole, but it's most not people always. Do. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, most people do, because it's like, you know, the whites are in bigger notes, you know? Yeah. yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. Okay, right? Yeah. yeah. All right. Pick a note, any note. Sure. You're up, sir. Does it start here? Okay, you're starting on D. Is this a D as well? Yeah, you're right. C, D. Right, right, right. Well, so he started on D, so we'll start somewhere else. <laughs> New key. A. Hey. Okay, cool. So, remember the pattern? What's the pattern? Whole note. Whole note. No, this one doesn't count as a whole note. Right. You start here and then you oh, okay. then you apply the pattern. Okay. Okay. Hold up. Yeah. Hold up. No. No. Hold up. Yeah. From here to here, it's a whole step. So, so whole step, whole step, half step. Oh, this one. Yeah. Very next note. Whole step. Whole step. Careful. This one. Yeah. That's right. right. Yeah. Whole step, whole step. That's step. interesting. Whole step, whole step, whole step. Here? No. Whole no. step. Whole step. Whole step. Whole step. Right? Yeah. Next one is what? Half step. Yeah. This one. Yeah. Okay. And whole step. Yeah. That'd be this one. Yeah. Whole step. Yeah. No, that's not a whole step. That's not a whole step. Why is that not a whole step? Because a half step is from one note to the very next. Right, because there's no there's no thing. Black so yeah, that's no, the half step. step. I got it. I the switches same thing. rotation. Yeah. Interesting. Okay. Yeah, so that's, yeah that's right. Uh, yeah. Whole step. Half step. And that scale is called. Uh, that would be A. An A major scale. A major scale. Yeah. Major. As opposed to a minor. And a minor scale. Sure. Which what is that? So then that wouldn't be the whole whole half. Whole, whole, no. Half. So so you what you would do? What I would do is I would take a major scale and modify it to be a minor scale. So okay. rather than rather than trying to memorize a whole new pattern, uh -huh. I just memorize the, the the notes that need to change in, in a relative to a major scale. Oh, okay. You no. Know? So it's a, I, it's the way I think about it. Okay. Uh, it's my untrained. Untrained mind. So, but I, if setting up a major scale is the whole, whole, half, whole, 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 half, yeah. is there, you know, for. Yeah, for a minor scale, yeah. there's a couple of different kinds of minor scales. There's a, one called a melodic minor scale, and there's one called a harmonic minor scale. Uh -huh. And for a, a harmonic minor scale, you you flat the third and you flat the sixth note in the scale. Uh -huh. So, if you count up one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, you flat the third and you flat the sixth. And you you do the the rest of the the scale notes follow the major scale, and on the way down you come back down the exact same way. So it's what we call the harmonic minor scale. It's kind of like the you know, Eastern European kind of sounding. Da -da 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 -da, you know. um, and then there's a melodic minor scale, which is which is you flat the third on the way up, and you flat the seventh and the sixth and the third on the way down. So you go up one way and you come down another way, and it has a slightly okay. different. Something different feel. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Play another major scale. I'm trying. I'm trying. 
take that all in sure. and at the same time not, not worrying too much. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. right. That's yeah. right. Okay. So you 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 tell Ray the the, the pattern. Okay. Okay. Oh. That was the first. So that was the second, right? No, that was the first whole step. Oh, okay. So so you. Sorry, it's because so you haven't you, moved, right? So you start with. By yeah, hitting the you, one. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Okay. Yeah. So then it's whole. Just yeah. on your fingers, I should, yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, that's the basic. Okay, it makes a lot more sense because it's hard to get this one. I mean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, there's there are exceptions to the rule depending on scale, and that would be the one uh, exception. Uh, F, would be an exception. F has a different finger pattern. Uh, do a do a <laughs> do a C major, do a C major, and you can use one, two, three with this one. Keyboarding skills are going to be Yeah, that's, right. uh, that's where. Um, so if you're doing a, if you just want to practice the fingering, the C major mm -hmm. scale has only white notes in it. Oh, okay. It's oh, the so only scale good. that has all what we call naturals. Uh, all naturals. So you can go one, two, three. Is that typically why we start from middle C? Yeah. Yeah. There you go. That's it. That's it. Okay, so that one's basic enough because then, but then knowing to do the and then switch here right. as opposed to right, I could do that. Yeah. Uh, but this is way more natural doing the three because the thumb fits in here. Yeah, that's right. Super well. That's Whereas right. if I do this, then it's almost like a reach, like an extra reach. Yeah. Right. Is that something that just comes naturally? Uh, or is that kind of you want to train that? You want to train that to a degree, okay. and then and then you you want to. Once you learn the rules, then you, you start to recognize that if the fingering feels awkward, there's a better fingering. Fair enough. Um, you know, and you, you work okay. out you work out fingering. I like that. That's things. very much the way we teach kung fu. Yeah. You know, is it, it feels yeah. awkward? Yeah. 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 There's another way to do it. There's another way to do it. Yeah, an easier way. Taking out. And in, in terms of hand shape, hand. you have the right shape of hand. It's just like crab legs, you know, okay. just kind of curved a little bit. Yeah. And you use the weight of your hand, yeah. you know, to press the keys down. As opposed to. As opposed to. Yeah. Yeah, you kind of lock your. I guess that would place. make more sense when you're playing combinations of keys. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. What is the uh, the chopsticks? I think that was oh, yeah. the ones I knew. Yeah. Those two. And this one goes down a. a new... Exactly how I learned to play the piano. Is it? Oh yeah. That's great. Just, just playing different. Just, keys. just kind of like having a, a tune in my head, uh -huh. like a, a little melody, and mm. finding it. Mm. Uh, just yeah. I wouldn't, I wouldn't stop. That's, that's until almost I like found it. Yeah. yeah. There's like an adventure to it. Yeah. If you. That's almost like more of a minor twang to it. Like a little spooky. Yeah. Experimentation is, is yeah, definitely yeah, what you yeah. want to do a lot. Well, I had a guitar for the short period of time that yeah. I did. That's all I sat down to do was I was just playing with the strings, just yeah. listening to them because it yeah. was fun. Yeah. I never once picked up a sheet music telling me how to play a song. I just yeah. 
I just spent time just yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Yeah, repetition is the mother of skill. Yeah, you know, well, so like you got to do this over and over and over oh, yeah. to, to develop the muscle. That's memory. a really good expression. Yeah. yeah, yeah, I like that. So then, if I were to do say for C, yeah, this is C major. Would yeah. this be C minor? So uh, yeah, that's right. So. So C ma the major is always made up of the first, the third, and the fifth note mm -hmm. of the major scale, and then the, this is the third, and the and the and if you flat the third, you have a minor. Oh. Uh, yeah. So yeah, that's right. So it's one three five or one flat three five. Almost, you have to start here because this is one, three, five of the oh, G scale. Right, because the no black there. Right. <laughs> That's right. Now, if you flat the third, which is this, this is the third. So I played D minor initially on that one, and then tried to play. Yeah, you can play. There you go. There's a D major. So there's D major. Yeah, D minor. This almost sounds. In the same scale. Yeah, this is sense. that one's called a suspended chord. This one here. This one. Yeah. It's called a su suspended two because it has no three in it, and it makes it like a chord that lives in between chords. That's cool. Yeah. Yeah, it's That's a little bit. Cool. It leaves a question in the music, you know. <laughs> and then that one's the uh, the finisher. Mm, that's cool. Yeah, you know, we'll just toy around with right? this a little bit. Yeah, that's the. Let me try. It. Yeah. So if I get what I get a piano at the house, we just go. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, you know, learn the names of the notes. Yes. Learn the names of the notes. And start by doing scales, little scales using that pattern, numbering the notes. Five, six, seven. Being able to to identify where those notes are. Just getting familiar with. Them. Yeah, that's it. Absolutely. Absolutely. So this is, uh, that sounds great. C B E. So E would be. Major. Yeah. I feel bad for you. That might be oh, I can trust you. Have you on it? See if you like. It's a good view from here. Yeah. Taking it upside down. Oh, that's okay. Yeah. Oh, you went too far. Half step. To Half. The last one. Right. Yeah. yeah. At the end there. Okay. Yeah. Cool. So that's the uh, what C B E E major. So. Funkier twang to that. It's, it does have a different ring. Yeah. Yeah. Does, yeah. There's certain chords have a certain mm -hmm. sound. Yeah. You know, where they where yeah. they sit. You know. Mm -hmm. um, the next thing that we would do that I would teach is I would teach about chord families. Like once you can play um, a major scale, mm -hmm. then there are there are different chords that you can build out of those notes mm -hmm. and those chords all kind of fit together like little Lego pieces so oh, major okay. chords like uh, C major F major G major they all kind of play to nicely together yeah. so I call them chord families okay uh, I like that that's just my no that's great that's, that's my, the way I like yeah. it it's a family you're there grouping them yeah, yeah they fit, fit together as yeah I like the fact that like we're talking about Ways things that fit, that ways that things fit together in the same way that we're talking about, like different branches of, of anything that you would do, like how wine was invented, for example. Right. Grapes were used differently. One went this way, one went that. Right. Right. And we're yeah. just talking like these these sounds work this way, and they fit together, and these sounds work this way, and That's they right. fit together. That's yeah. cool. Yeah, 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 and it, and it and it makes sense. And the nice thing, the nice thing that makes like this instrument accessible to people when you learn it this way is you understand it. Yeah, you get it. Like, yeah. like there's a there are other ways of, of of teaching, like teaching by reading music and that sort of thing, and and you this know, is like ground up. I feel like it's that's like I, why. Yeah. It to, you know this might be a simplistic way of looking at it, but I, like there are plenty of people that if you take the music away from them, they can't play. Mm -hmm. Right, they can't play. Yeah, 
They can't. They could. They can. They can slowly pick out a tune, but they become it's like trying to skip. It's almost like skipping ahead. It know? is. You're like, you're you're conditioning way. your fingers to like, move based on the information yeah, that's going in, right? So it's like yeah, it's not this, really place. Yeah. Someone yeah. else went through that whole period, and then maybe they're sharing their knowledge at that point to like help someone else kind of start ahead. But then you, you don't have as much. Yeah. Of an ability to do anything. You don't have the freedom. Yeah, you know, there's no freedom. freedom. It's like, you know. But there's a there's, there's a trade off. Getting someone to fish versus teaching them how to fish. Yeah, yeah, it's a trade off though, because you'll hear like people that like the really good readers, they're exceptional players. Like the the sound that they can create is, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. I mean, there are people that can do it by ear as, as well, yeah. but um, but when you play by ear, you're really playing by feel. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You're really playing by feel. Intuitive. You know? yeah. yeah, you you have the sound in your head. And yeah, I like that. Yeah, I, that interests me far more than reading sheet music. Yeah, you know, like yeah. I would like to be able to just have a tune in my head and then express it. Mm -hmm. Right, right. Yeah, that, that's very much the point. It's kind of like anything, you know. It's yeah. like when you first learn to draw. Yeah. Like I got an idea in my head, it comes out terribly. Mm -hmm. Right, <laughs> right. <laughs> you know, you just keep drawing. You know, eventually, it starts to look a little bit more like what's yeah, in your head. Yeah, clear. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's process kind of thing in here. Like I hear things in my head. I hear music all the time. You like, do it yeah. for sure. It's yeah. just I wouldn't know where to start. Yeah. But you hear me around the house. Like he's working. Like I'm always whistling. I'm Is that always, right? Yeah. Like, oh yeah. yeah. You know, it's just it's just in there, and I enjoy. I, it. I don't. I don't have music going through my head all the time. Trish yeah. does. That's cool. Trish does. I, I know when she, when there's a song going through Trish's mind uh -huh. because she's you know if she it's happens to be touching yeah. me she's. Fingering it on her violin, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. So can, can she learn in that way? Too? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. 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 She learned her. She way. yeah. She uh, she learned by ear first. Okay, that's yeah. cool. Yeah. That's yeah. really cool. Because then you can take it with you. Yeah. Like anywhere you go, you can just show up, and and then it, it's like any instrument yeah. too. I feel like if you're learning sheet music, that kind of limits you to the instrument you're learning sheet music. Um, yeah, there's, less, I, I, there's, like, there's, a, there's a great place for sheet music. I, I'm a, like I'm, I'm glad I can read music now. Yeah, uh, because it opens up like a whole new world. It's like lead, reading a book, right? Mm -hmm. like, never new ideas. Yeah, yeah, new ideas. Right. Or if you need exercises, you know, you can yeah. think about the sheet music as like a coach. Yeah, fingers, that's you know? fair. It's, yeah. So it's you know it's hard sometimes. Just because you can write doesn't mean you don't read. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Sure. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You might as well get different yeah, ways to get language yeah. together. Yeah. I imagine that's, that's actually got to be kind of exciting when you're going through a piece of music that's complicated and you're like, oh, I see what you did there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's got to be kind of neat. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. I hear. I hear what they're doing. That's that's. Amazing. I hear what they're doing. I can hear all the. I, can I hear just all hear sound. Yeah. I used to like when you know like fiddle music. I started playing the fiddle when I was in my like mid twenties. Mm -hmm. You know, and like. Everything sounded the same to me. Yeah. Wow. I couldn't hear the notes. I couldn't understand. That's how the hell yeah. can they actually play a play a tune? How do they remember all those notes? Right. Yeah. You know, it's like <laughs> fifty million notes in a full tune. It's yeah. like, I, like I just didn't understand. Yeah. I Meanwhile, well, they're probably hardly even keeping them in mind. They're, just, they're not. I mean, once you do it enough. Yeah. That's my daughter in a nutshell. You know, major. over and over again, yeah. she's like, I can't do this. This is too hard. A yeah. week later, she's doing it. Yeah. Yeah. It's just it's so like, funny. Or, yeah, that yeah. initial that initial story, right? Yeah. That initial yeah. block. Yeah. You know, like, oh, I can't do that. Yeah, I like this yeah. though. It's like I see the pattern here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. yeah I like patterns. Play a C sharp major scale. C sharp major. C sharp major. All right. So is that C major sharp? Oh, C sharp major. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so like that's it. Whole. Yeah. Yeah. No, no. First one doesn't count because you oh, haven't written right, 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 right. right. Okay. Yeah. So that's like zero. That's like so, zero. Okay. okay. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And you're right back to start. Yeah. Beautiful. Yeah. C sharp major. Back to sharp. Yeah. Back to right. C sharp. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. You got it. Sweet. You got it. Yeah. Yeah. Find the first, the third, and the fifth note. Yeah. See, find those notes that you just played. The first, the third, and the fifth. Just the. Uh, yeah. No. Uh, this is the first. Yeah. Second. Yeah. Third, third first, yeah, third. and the fifth. And the fifth. 
<laughs> oh, that's dirty. Uh -huh. <laughs> Does it sound right? Those two sound right. First, the third. Yeah. And, uh, hold on. Wait. Three, four. Well, this is the second. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Yeah. That's two. One. So the third. Yeah. So this is your third? Yeah. Fourth? Fifth. This would have been fourth? The, yeah, this would have been your fourth, yeah. Uh, whole step, whole step, whole half, half step. Whole step. Oh, right. Yeah. You forget about that. You're looking yeah. at the five. Right? Yeah, yeah, that's what I see. Yeah. Yeah, so right here. Oh, okay. There you go. Oh, man. Yeah. Okay, okay, yeah. okay. okay. Yeah. yeah, when you said that at first, I was like, oh, that's not hard. To do. Yeah, and all of a sudden, it's like, like, I forget which all these fingers are yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right, that's great. Yeah. Okay. You can play them all at the same time. So that's a C sharp major chord. C sharp major. And, and now here's where, here's where patterns start to come in handy. Notice the spacing between your fingers. Yeah, absolutely. Uh -huh. yeah? yeah. Move everything up one whole step. Just pick up that shape, move it over to the next black note. Now play. There you go, the same shape, right? You didn't have to go through the, uh, the whole process of doing the scale to figure out that yeah. chord. And this is now, if this is. Does a, that always work? It always works. What? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So just go a whole. Yeah, go up a whole step. Yeah. And then go up whole another step. whole step. Now you got to be careful. Really look at and yeah. see where your, note, yeah. your target notes are. Uh, F major. There we go. Wow. Go up another, another whole step. step. So white notes again. Yeah. There you go. There's, there you go. Whole go step. up another whole step. Oh, I like that one. Yeah, there's an A major chord. You've played piano before. It's a B major. Um, I did. Yeah, actually, I did for a couple of years yeah. and just didn't. You know, I, I would uh, we would have to practice like twenty times for each song before class, and it's like all week wouldn't do them, and then show up, to, bang uh, it out, yeah, <laughs> right show up to yeah, the yeah. people I was carpooling with yeah, without a yeah. piano, oh, and just God. try and do as many as I could, because oh, like I wasn't into it, I wasn't yeah. enthusiastic, yeah, about yeah, it. I was doing it because yeah, I was yeah. you were yeah, told, to. told that it was a thing that I would appreciate when I'm older, knowing how to do, because you know you couldn't just learn something That's new. Funny. Right. When you're older, you no, know. you'll appreciate this when you're older. So we'll ruin it for you now. This is one of the things, <laughs> this is one of the things I love about teaching adults. That initial, yeah, that initial. Thing. Oh, the appreciation. You can. Oh yeah. You can learn. Yeah. yeah. No, I have a lot of people. Yeah. Can anything. I, I was thinking for so long that people were either just good singers or bad singers. Right. Like no one could learn how to sing yeah. or become yeah. a better singer. Yeah. Like that was kind of mind blowing yeah. to me. Like oh, yeah. you can actually learn and it has this, a lot to do with how relaxed i had this conversation with somebody the other day like when i was young i thought well i can't do that john because i don't know how yeah shocking <laughs> like, I'm, <laughs> like i'm like well i can't do that i wouldn't i couldn't be good i'm not good oh, at that job because i don't know how yeah. like that's, that's how my brain works you know? how start everyone yeah. yeah we start everything like that so so stupid it's that man if you, can, if you can train that into kids yeah oh yeah that's why i usually just left you know if it's not worth failing it's not worth doing yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. Yeah. Jump in there. Yeah. Fuck it up. Yeah. <laughs> you know, fucked up. Have, have, have a good time doing yeah. it too. Yeah. <laughs> Seriously. Thank you. Yeah. Appreciate yeah. this. It's been awesome. This is gonna be exciting. This is our first episode of this too. This is it. Absolutely. Just want to give a shout out to everybody watching. This is gonna be a very fun series. Oh yeah. Andrew and I are going to get over our, I guess, assumptions about our talent, and uh, yeah. we're gonna learn about these patterns. And I am fucking stoked. To get and, and here's the beautiful thing. This is a this is a, a, a measure of what they know right now. And in a month from now, this is gonna be different. Stay oh, tuned. Cool. Stay, Stay tuned. tuned. <laughs> this is gonna get exciting. Not something you're gonna want to miss. Absolutely. <laughs> oh, this was that was the measure there. Suddenly nervous. <laughs> <laughs> that one immediately made me nervous. <laughs> yeah, it's interesting. Like uh, a soundtrack on a movie. Just Straight like, up. It's like Rings Three. You know? Oh, yeah, there's yeah. somebody in the house. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. first thought in my head, yeah. there's someone in the house. Yeah. Cat runs across the floor. Yeah. Yeah. Cat yeah. In the back of your neck. Yeah, that's right. You know, it's a that's the 
Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's the, the diminished chord. Yeah. You know, the person laying across the tree trunk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. The tree oh, yeah. There's like an intensity. See, that's fun. Yeah. 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 But it's neat because all you have to all you have to know is that you flat the third, flat the fifth, and flat the sixth. Well, the fact that you're playing upside down, yeah, like it doesn't matter. <laughs> flat the third and the flat the third, flat the fifth, and 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 play the sixth. Yeah. So if you were to start on C here, this would be. So if you if you uh, play all these notes together, so the numbers that you're playing are one, three, five, six. Okay. Flat this flat the fifth. So I mean, if you can oh, memorize simple, yeah. simple chord patterns, that's amazing. Yeah, I never thought about that. I definitely got your way. Yeah, and now if you practice this, your fingers will remember it. Yeah. Oh yeah. You know? Like anything else, right? Yeah. Okay. Play this now. Play uh, uh, these. There you go. There's a D minor, what we call a D minor seven. Mm -hmm. You hear that progression? Oh yeah. So we have a chord yeah. progression now. Play, um, yeah, there you go. So, kind of have this, uh, you know, you, you, yeah, you, you hear I wish I could remember first. what that progression was. <laughs> yeah, but you will. Yeah, you will. Yeah, this is, I mean, this is dangling the carrot. Well, this is great so, because this is a good place to start, and yeah. it's not to the point where I feel overwhelmed. Yeah. trying to take in so much information mm -hmm. that it's not settling. Yeah. yeah. Like, I'm not trying to learn this as fast as I can. Exactly. I'm trying to learn yeah. it. Yeah. Just almost just like absorbing it. Yeah. You know, that, this is, I'll I'm tell you, it. this is a, this is a, would be a really good format for like a, like a, a retreat thing, you know? Uh -huh. And it's like a conversation about music. Yeah. You know, yeah. and then you go away, then you go away and you spend, you know, like you, you, you have these conversations, you, you, you put out a little bit of information, you talk about it, uh -huh. you, you, you convince yourself that the students have it. Okay, go away and practice it now for half an hour and then let's meet for a beer. Yeah, That's exactly. Right? Yeah. And then, and then, uh, and then we're going to come back. And we're gonna do more of it. Like just keep just keep building it. You mm -hmm. know, this is the only problem with music lessons, weekly music lessons. Like yeah. you can make that go faster if you can put the instruction yeah, really in there. Interesting you know? thing. Yeah. I wonder how long would be an ideal period of time for something like that. I I think I think ideally what you would do is you would you would you would have like two days mm -hmm. on, one day off, and then two days on, mm -hmm. you know, or something like that. Yeah. You know, where, you just got to get the right people in the room, you know? Yeah. And instruments. And instruments, yeah. 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 But being able to have that sort of foundation in like a shorter period of time. And yeah. like being able to focus on it, but then have the breaks. And you need the breaks. breaks. That's how you really consolidate your memories. Yeah. You like get the, breaks. the rest in a workout. You know, yeah. You yeah. Just exactly. work out for exactly. an hour straight. Yeah. I'm just throwing this out. Music yeah. retreats might be coming yeah. up. Yeah. And we could even mix it in with psychedelic. Oh, absolutely. I mean, yeah. what would slow you down more? Yeah. All of a sudden, you're actually there paying attention. Oh, my gosh. It could be, like, without even trying, like, an accelerated... Well, yeah, because, I mean, this is, one of the, this is one of the troubles with teaching adults, right? Adults come with baggage. Yeah. Mm -hmm. oh, and yeah. you got to figure out you got to figure out how to unlock them, right? Mm -hmm. And it takes time. you got to develop a relationship. Yeah. And, and, well, and I think they have to get past that, you know, I should learn this because it's good for me to actually want to do yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, totally. Yeah. yeah. And most people live in that spot where it's like, I'm learning this yeah. because it's going to make me a better person. Exactly. <laughs> it's going to improve me as a person, which, like, cuts down on, and you're doing everything, going to every practice for a reason, mm. you know, for mm. a purpose. It isn't just like, no, this is a not full for, experience right now it, yeah. that I'm taking in. Well, I can really definitely cool. see this challenging me. And definitely, like, it's great. You want to get some more? Actually, I was thinking we should wrap up this episode. Sure. Here. Okay. Yeah? Cool. This has been a great first lesson. I yeah. have a lot to chew on. Jeff, thank you, Jeff. We can't, <laughs> can't thank you enough. I'm looking yeah, forward to nice continuing this. So yeah. Definitely. Great meeting you. Contact Jeff. Check him out. You'll find details on uh, Instagram at Fidelium, as well as on our website. We'll put some details up there. But uh, expect part two in the near future. Thanks, everyone. Bye, everyone. Dope. All right.
Good shit. Fuck, I love it when content said easy. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, man.